Okay, I'm going to show you a comparison of a normal human skull, a cranial altered human skull, and what might possibly be something different. The third being a Paracas elongated skull. Now, this is the normal human skull. We know for sure that it's Inca because it was found solely with Inca artifacts. To the right of the skull is a cranial deformed skull. And to the right of that is this, a Paracas skull, one of three different types, three different shapes. Now the main characteristics that we can automatically see, here if we have the three bone plates, the major bone plates, the two parietals, and the frontal. These sutures are what are normal. Here, in the compressed skull, we see again the three plates. It's possible that they're more obvious than that because of the compression of the skull. Since these three plates grow from babyhood, and have been altered since babyhood, the compression action might have caused the fusion of the three plates to be somewhat problematic, hence the gap. But here, with the Paracasco, what we see is we see that this plate, or this suture here, is present but fine and the one that separates the two parietal bones is existent but then basically disappears. Other characteristics that make them different are the size of the jaw, possibly the volume which I'm about to check of the cranium itself, and the fact that these two are very light in weight as compared to this one. This one feels as though it's almost twice as thick as the other two. And that's quite an intriguing factor. If there are any medical people watching this video, I would very much appreciate your comments as to what I have shown.